My name is Matt Martinez with Security Marketing Consultants. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on DW Spectrum Software, which is Digital Watch Dogs latest IP offering software. Envelope compliant, work with other cameras as well as ours. Um, I'll give you a quick tutorial on three key components when people want to make a deciding factor on what software to go with. First, we'll start with Live Play. Uh, in order to look at live pictures, all you really have to do is find your server on your left-hand side, locate your cameras, or if you're already set up as an administrator, you can locate your cameras underneath your views, uh, which could be predetermined views as well as just cameras within those views. So all you need to do is really put your mouse over uh, the camera. It gives you a little preview window so you indicate if that's the camera you're actually looking for, identifying that camera. Select that camera, pull into the screen. Once you pull into the screen, you'll see your screen resolution and everything dynamically change in order to fit another camera into that screen. The nice thing about Digital Watchdog DW Spectrum software as far as live view and creating your own video walls, we don't limit you to predetermined views. So you're allowed to customize your own views, create your own video walls any way you want. As you see, I'm dragging the camera up upper to the upper left hand corner. Each grid, the grid is getting larger and larger. At some point, you can reselect the size of that camera within that grid uh, to your liking. So you can customize your own view any way you want to. I'm going to get rid of that right here just for the time being. So that's a part of Live View. Another nice thing I'm showing when showing our flexibility of our software is showing a difference between a 16 by 9 view versus a 9 by 16 view. And the reason behind this is it gives you more options when you're installing a system out there in the field to where you don't have to just give them a view of a 16 and not my 9 view. So what I did here is I took the same camera, rotated the camera, so now this camera is actually mounted on a, its side. So I took the tri-axis gimbal, I rotated it and to give you a, a 9 by 16 view versus a 16 by 9 view. The advantage of you get with this is you get more uh, pixels in area of interest, which is basically the hallway. So you're not capturing a lot of the walls anymore. And you can simply do that by just rotating the camera by clicking the upper right hand corner, selecting the uh, the little uh, half circle moon here, and rotating the camera to your liking in order to get the view upright. Another way of viewing is we have mapping. So in order to create a map, you can just create a new layout view. You can import a JPEG image into your map and then associate your cameras wherever those cameras are associated within the map. You can single click and pull it up a little bit, or you can double click pull it up full screen. Uh, but it always gives you a live indication of what's going on in those views at that moment in time as well too. So you can make these cameras larger or smaller. Uh, just depends on how you want to interact with your cameras and how many cameras you have onto a map. So that's it really for live view. Now we're going to look at playback. A few key components here on the lower right hand corner when you're looking at live view. One is the live and sync button. So right now I have live and sync. Sync is now highlighted, so indicated by green. So anytime I want to roll the wheel myself into the timeline, you'll see green marks, which indicate recorded view. Because I'm on sync and live, all the cameras will now go to the same exact time in that timeline. If I select live, it goes back to live. Now if I unsync it and select a camera, now what it's going to do is only give me playback in that camera. So now I can look at live and other cameras. I can put that back into the foreground and I'm going to find playback. I can scroll through, look at the search if I just roll the wheel with my mouse in and scrolling through the timeline. That's one way of doing a search. Another way of doing a search is using thumbnails. Thumbnails is located in the same place as where the live and sync button are. You hit thumbnail, what will happen is little snapshot images of what was going on at that time. So if I know this is the guy I'm looking for, I can literally just click on it and it goes right to that time. If I want to make these thumbnails larger, I can just make it larger. Another way of doing search is for with our smart search. So I'm going to go back to live on this camera. So make everything live. I'm going to select on this one, which is really the same camera. I'm going to right click again and show motion show motion smart search. Now what's going to happen, you're going to see a little um, little grids come up. So what I want to do is find out when this cup was stolen. I'm going to highlight that cup and all of a sudden what you're going to see on this grid right here is all motion detection areas when someone hit that area of motion with a pre and a post. So there's my hand moving in front of it. 
Now what's going to do is going to skip to the next one. And there I am. That's when I stole the cup. Now if you like that image and you want to archive the image out, you go to that, that timeline, you, you right click onto the screen now and hold and drag the right click. What this is doing is actually changing your timeline of where you want to end your, your video as well as you can rescale it down and change your beginning time. So just by right clicking, holding it down and then readjusting your timeline for, for archive. Right click again onto the timeline and you can export your selected area. You have an option of exporting onto an AVI as well as an executable. I do recommend executable because it does come with our player so when you give it to the police authority they don't have to download anything. They will get our full resolution and our scalability to uh, principally enhance and zoom in on uh, images. Uh, that's pretty much it for my quick video presentation. Hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions please contact your local SMC representative. You can visit our website at www.cctv-access.com. Thank you.